G'day, thanks for tuning in to Oz Tool Talk. Have here in my hands the brand new brushless Makita reciprocating saw. That is the DGR 187. Uh, very exciting. Makita users have been waiting a long time for a brushless and particularly a more powerful reciprocating saw. Um, so Makita have finally delivered um, and they have delivered in spades. This is a powerful unit. Firstly, I'll tell you about the specs. Um, stroke length is 32 millimeters and it's got a 130 mil pipe cutting capacity, 255 millimeter timber cutting capacity. You are, you can of course get 300 mil blades for this, but it's recommended or it's maximum um, rated timber cutting capacity is 255. That's, that's pretty big. You'd be, you're using one of these for a while if you're cutting through logs or something that's 250 mil. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it go it's strokes per minute SPM uh, zero to three thousand, or on first speed zero to twenty three hundred. Um, now that's an interesting feature. You might be thinking um, this is the first reciprocating saw that I've used that has um, speed settings. It's actually got a little button on the top of the handle. Um, it feels much like a, a drill that goes from forward to lock to reverse, but instead this one goes from second speed to lock to first speed. Um, of course the, the trigger is still variable speed, um, but it just gives you that extra bit of control. So cool, why not? Uh, it also has a um, rafter hook on the side here. The rafter hook locks at 90, it locks at 180, can even go over a bit further, not that you'd need it to, and um, tucks away on the tool nicely. It's it's shaped to um, be really flush with the tool, not stick out at all. Um, it's got a really nice big rubber over molding grip right across the front half of the tool. Um, so it's nice and comfortable to hold. The handle is, is also quite ergonomic. You've got a big trigger here. Uh, at the top, it's right in line with the cutting um, uh, direction of the blade. So that's good. And um, Right at the front of the tool, you have a little lever that you can't really see until you pull it out from the bottom of the handle. That allows you to adjust the shoe on your reciprocating saw. It's got a you know a few settings to be able to push that back and forth. Um, so that's, that's good. Um, the other thing worth mentioning is the actual um, blade holder. I would call it like an SDS kind of blade holder. It's much like a jigsaw. Um, you just twist the piece and it will eject your uh, blade, and then you can just push your next blade in um, one-handed. It's quite convenient and easy. Um, so yeah, this uh, it feels heavier to me than the previous Makita reciprocating saw, um, which is which is good. I think a bit of weight in a reciprocating saw is, is healthy, um, and uh, it's very solid, um, much like the more recent kind of um, high-end reciprocating saws that have been released. Um, I think this one is is really probably going to be just as powerful as anything else in the market now. I think they've probably caught right up. I haven't done a comparison um, as yet, but uh, yeah, this feels to me as powerful as anything else in the market, which is really good. So very happy with Makita. They uh, the users have been calling for it, and now you can get one. That's the DJR one eight seven. Um, really nice. I tried it in. Treated pine, so treated pine sleepers, 50 mil by 200, just churn through them really fast and easy. Put in screws and nails in the end, um, you know, with a, a blade designed for that and still churn through it. Then I gave it a really tough test. I went through solid steel um, bar, I guess you'd call it, 40 mil by 16, so a very big chunk of steel to cut through. And yeah, it didn't really blink it. Um, it takes a little while, of course. Um, reciprocating saw is not the best tool to get through steel like that, but um, it did it no problem. So uh, really impressive. That that is the 18 volt brushless Makita reciprocating saw. That is one of two that have come out. The other being the 18 times two. This is the DJR 360, um, which is essentially the same unit but it takes two 18 volt batteries. I don't know how, but uh, somehow 
this is actually the first review of an 18 times 2 Makita tool on our channel. So anyway, um, I've got on here a 4 and a 5 amp hour battery. Um, as soon as one of those batteries is depleted, the tool will stop working. It needs two charged batteries on there. Um, as soon as one of them finishes, um, as I said, that means you're done. So if you put a 4 and a 5 on fully charged, then essentially you're going to get 8 amp hours worth of work done on this. Um, the 5 will still have a bit on it. I would suggest when using a tool like this to have a dual charger. Um, they also have a 4 bay charger, but I think the fast charging um, twin charger would be um, ideal for when you're using these 18 times 2 tools. Um, so some guys are going to think really um, why I get the 18 times 2 especially on a unit like this where there doesn't actually seem to be any performance and power increase from the 18 volta. Um, it's got exactly the same specs, the motor and the housing are like the same size, it sounds the same, feels the same. Um, I think I'm realistically it's the same tool but it takes two batteries which means you can do twice the work um, before you go charge the batteries. So if, um, if you want that, if you want to be able to work a lot longer before you have to go back to your charger and change your batteries on, then this one's cool for you. Um, if, like me, you think, oh, I'd probably rather just deplete one battery and then put it on charge and grab another, then you go to the standard 18 volt. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this might suit some people really well. Um, but in any case, it's not more powerful, um, I don't think, than the 18 volt, but you are going to get a lot of runtime, and, uh, um, yeah. But it's, it's the same. It's the same sort. They're both really powerful saws. Um, I do think that uh, anyone who picks one of these up and has a go is going to be impressed because uh, I think these, is, uh, as I said, as powerful as anything else on the market um, that runs on batteries. So um, yeah, really good. I think uh, that's all there is to say. Oh, weights 3.7 kilos on the 18 volt. That's with a 5 amp hour battery. Um, and 4.6 kilos for the 18 times two with two batteries on it. Um, so most of that extra weight is in the extra battery. 440 millimeters long, um, which is actually reasonably short, I think, for a reciprocating saw. Certainly not overly long. So anyway, I like them. Go check them out. Tell me what you want to hear about next. Tell me if you're going to buy one of these or if you've already got one. What you think. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.